Okay, we're gonna make sure that this is off and it is. And there, that resets it. That pops it back out. If you can't reset that, that means the power to this is off wherever that's coming from, like a breaker or something else. Because you can't reset something if there's no power. Remember that one that I tried to do outside? I couldn't reset that. And speaking of that one that was outside, how come that was there? I'm not even quite sure that one was there. Uh, all I know is there's a uh, inspection cover on that same wall that goes for underneath the tub inside the house. And uh, maybe that's connected to that electrical outlet. Uh, so that's GFI protected, who knows? You know, the one underneath where they plug in the tub jacuzzi thing. Okay, so I've got that shut off. So now let's go back out here. Let's go back out here and see if the power is off. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something if it was? Okay, and it very well could be. Look at that. Is. I'll be a monkey's uncle. Remember, I, I wanted to check everything on these. I couldn't find it down down here. I'm I'm hoping you are still watching this. It's a continuation of the other. But at least if, if people aren't watching this, you watch the first part of it. They'll know all the different things to uh, to go about. Okay, so that's off. And let's see. This one should be off too then, right? This one out here should be off. I'm just doing the extra mile. I don't want to make any assumptions. And don't you ever make any assumptions either your projects. Look at that. No light. No power. These are all connected to the laundry room. GFI. That's located upstairs. Isn't that amazing that is very amazing to me it's also amazing to me that they did not put decals on all of these exterior locations because they should have whenever you get an electrical uh, GFI at the store it comes it comes with all of those decals it comes with maybe oh I don't know eight or nine decals and so now now I know. Okay, sorry about that, Miss Realtor, who said, hey, if the, if the home inspector guy didn't put it on his list, it's probably, it's probably already protected, and apparently it is. Well, that's all I got for this time. And I'm glad I checked that out, but I'll see you on the next video. Put that back now. I can mark that off my list. <laughs> I'm still amazed that in this laundry room, this GFI is controlling all of the uh, outlets, at least the ones with the brown plugs. All of those outside on the decks connected to here. I'm still surprised about that. I don't know why, but I am. But anyways, at least I got it figured out. And see, the laundry, see here's another, here's another outlet. See it says GFCI protected outlet. They should have had these little decals attached to all the electrical outlets outside. And then I would have known for sure. I wouldn't even have had to question it. I would have known. But uh, 
I don't know if you were remembering, I don't know if it was on this video or another video, uh, when I was talking about GF, GFIs, that the breaker downstairs for this is a 15 amp. And it controls this one, this one in the laundry room, and that's the only two in the laundry, and then all the ones outside. Well, their theory probably is you're, you're probably not going to have things plugged in and using in the laundry room at the same time that you have things plugged in and used all th all on all of the decks because that's six that's six outlets on a 15 amp breaker for a GFI, and uh, that's that's kind of unusual usually they don't do that usually they only have two or three like in the kitchen maybe on the countertops you might have three that are connected to one gfi or something like that and see here here's a here's a thing i noticed see there's a there's a a plug here and that's for this little um, ironing board that folds down then you plug in the iron to that i think that's on it on a, its own dedicated circuit in the electrical panel, I happen to see that it said uh, laundry iron or something, and I thought, okay, that's where that's for the ironing board. You know, could they could they have hooked that up with the GFI in here? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they figured the iron uh, takes up a lot of power, so they don't want to they don't want to question having stuff on here and then have the iron on too as you're ironing. Whatever. Okay. So at least I got that figured out and see this one here for the washing machine. Uh, that was on it uh, on a separate circuit, I believe. I don't think that's included, connected onto there. And generally they don't do that. Usually they'll have a, uh, a dedicated circuit maybe uh, for that. I think uh, we saw one in there that said uh, washer and for the dryer, uh, they would have a separate thing for that if it was electrical it would be bigger than a 20 like a regular 20 amp breaker but I think this is connected to uh, gas I'm not sure if it is or not uh, I can't really I can't really see down there I don't know oh I was wondering what that second one was for and it's for the exhaust fan. Now, now I'm curious. Is there a is there a outlet down there? Is there gas for this? And I'm not quite sure. I think I see a wire. Uh, I don't know. Can't I can't be for sure certain on that. Oh no. My mistake. See, well, the dryer does hook up to electric. I think I remember they had a gas outlet underneath uh, there, and it was capped off. And that's kind of a good thing um, to do either or. And then you can choose to uh, hook it up whichever way you want if you have gas to your your house or something. Okay. Well, that's it for this video.